William Knight and Maxine Grisham in the light heavyweight division. It's going to be an interesting fight. 37 years old and 33 years old. But the height and the reach, we really, really got to look at that. Because if you look at William Knight's third to last fight against Dalun Jung, that was a guy that's pretty similar in height and reach to Maxine Grisham. Maxime, 6'3", and a 76-inch reach. Dalun Jung, let's check right here, is probably going to be right around that 6'3", 6'4"-inch range, and probably right around the same reach as well. You look right here, six foot four, even taller with a 78 and a half injury. So a very tall, very lengthy Dao Wen Jung was able to go out there and destroy William Knight in the striking and mix in the takedowns and win the fight there as well. That is why I'm going to say it right now, the nightmare type of matchup for a guy like William Knight is a tall, lengthy striker that mixes in the takedowns. Max and Grisham is a tall, lengthy boxer. He's got very, very good combinations on the feet. 31 one wins and nine losses and two draws very very solid boxing that fight with Dustin Jacoby I'm gonna be honest with you I think he won that fight you watch it back he did enough on the judges scorecards to win they, they just did not give him the win I'm really not too sure why but he probably should have gotten the win there but if we look at the UFC stats um for, for Maxine Grisham, he's got way, way more volume laid in his fights. Uh, actually, it's going to be pretty similar, actually, right there. 3.58, mainly because of William Knight's last fight. But I would say that Maxine Grisham could honestly go out there and get a, get a few takedowns. William Knight is a very, very solid wrestler. He's got a lot of takedowns on his record. Taking down Alonzo Menifield. Taking down Alexica Moore right there. And then taking down Herdem Alakbeck. But I'm going to be honest with you. I think Maxine Grisham could land a few takedowns here. You might call me crazy because William Knight is more of a wrestler with some pretty big shots on the feet but I think Maxine Grisham might be able I'm not saying the first round or the second round I'm saying more towards the end of the fight towards that third and final round that's when William Knight's gas tank is really the worst because at that point he's been throwing all those crazy huge shots on the feet uh, and his gas tank really is not going to be that good I'm not saying Maxime is going to go out there and take down William Knight in the first and second round that's not at all what's going to happen William's going to be going for takedowns going for for those huge shots in that first and second round and that's really going to open him up uh, for the takedowns later on in the fight. Maxime isn't necessarily the best wrestler or grappler but in those later rounds when uh, William Knight is a little bit more gassed he could definitely land a few takedowns. Got a knockout win over guys the more of Ante Gulov knockout win over Mikhail Amokdong-Keen, Jordan Johnson decision and a couple of other wins in the PFL. Out of all of his wins 16 knockout wins, 6 submission wins and 9 decisions He's got way, way better boxing. Um, I'm going to say he does have the better volume, even though the UFC stats say otherwise. I'm still going to go Maxim Grisham to have a little bit more volume because William has been fighting guys. Um, that have been a lot smaller. He's not going to be able to land this much volume on a guy as big and as lengthy as Maxime Grisham. So I think the fight does go all the way um, to a decision. Maxime with a better boxing is a little bit faster, a little bit more volume in my opinion as well. He's just going to 1-2, one, 1-2, two, one, two, leg kick, body kick, uh, and win the fight by decision. Mixing in the takedowns later on in the fight. If William Knight were to win the fight, it's going to be him going out there, throwing some huge, huge shots, and knocking out Maxime Grisham. I just, I I cannot see that happening. I do not think um, that he's going to go out there and knock out Maxim Grisham. Uh, out of all of the fights for Maxim, the, the ones that he's been knocked out in, there hasn't really been that much. And if he has been knocked out, Magomed Ankalaev. Kenny Grainer right there, and then Guram Kugeshvili right there. He hasn't been knocked out that much times, but when he does get knocked out, it's by absolute beast like Magomed on Kalaev. So I don't think we're going to see a finish. This one should definitely go all, all the way. Maxim is the better better boxer, has better cardio, and could definitely mix in a takedown or two towards the end of the fight as well. So it's a good fight there in the UFC light heavyweight division.